All right, in this video, we're going to handle a um, basic physics problem dealing with definitions. It says a cannonball is fired into the air along a 350 meter long arc before hitting the ground. It takes the cannonball 50 seconds to transverse the path. What is the average speed? So, like any good problem, I said there's my cannonball. Cannonball goes through this path and hits here. We're told the distance along that path is 350 meters. All right, that, that's what we know. <clears throat> we know distance. Let me write that down. Equal 350 meters. And we know that the time, it says, is 50 seconds. And it asks the average speed. We don't know what that is. Uh, we need some formulas. Definition, average speed. Well, the average speed is by definition distance over time, which means that's 350 meters over 50 seconds, which is 7 meters per second. Always draw a good picture when you're doing a physics diagram. Always attempt to locate important things. Words with they have numbers. Those numbers you need to figure out what physical quantity they represent. Notice lots of things are just irrelevant. It really didn't matter what the cannonball, fire, and air done. We needed that long arc. It actually really didn't matter that it hit the ground. Again, didn't matter that it was a cannonball. We needed 50 seconds to transverse that path. I need to know that 50 seconds is related to that 350 meters. I needed to know that find the average speed and none of the rest of this was important either. Being able to learn to read word problems is identifying the important concepts that are going in a problem. 350 meter arc takes 50 seconds. What's the average speed? How do I know that? I really know my definitions. Average speed is distance over time. They wanted to know average speed. Did they give me the distance? Did they give me the time? Rest is just simple calculations. Notice that 350 meters over 50 seconds, it does have the right units. It is in meters per second. Notice also the zeros could be canceled. 35 over 5 gives me 7. Shouldn't need a calculator to do that. Anyway, this is one of the easier physics problems that you can have in chapter 2 and it's basically about just using definitions.